All right, all right, all right. It's already been a bit of a crazy night for the 2022 NFL draft for wide receivers, but it keeps getting crazier. Uh, we've seen a lot of the top guys already go. We've seen A.J. Brown traded. We're waiting to see maybe if Debo Samuel gets traded, but Jahan Dotson is the 16th overall pick in the 2022 NFL draft going to the Washington Commanders, the recently minted Washington Commanders. They have Terry McLaurin, who wants a contract extension. They have Curtis Samuel coming off some injuries this past year. You got Dax Maline, who came in last year's draft. You got Danny Brown, who came in last year. Uh, Antonio Gandy Golden, also, I think, from last year, from the year before that. So they've got a lot of young guys on this roster. One, they have to pay in Terry McLaurin. One, who's getting paid in Curtis Samuel. And now you bring in Jahan Dotson, who I think they're going to try to play outside. They're going to probably play Terry McLaurin, Jahan Dotson on the outside with Curtis Samuel in the slot. I don't know how I feel about that. I think Jahan Dotson, for me, he's my wide receiver eight this entire draft. And I have a second round grade on him. So I'm not as high on him as Washington, clearly. Uh, the concerns with him being he's 5'11, 178 pounds. He can get blown on and he'll fall over. You know, you, a little breeze will trip him up and he goes down. He's not going to fight through contact. He has some twitch. He has some agility in short area space. He can make guys miss. He doesn't have elite deep speed. So I don't know if you're going to have him taking the top off the of defenses. I don't really know if that's a role he can fulfill at a high level. And as I've said, he's fairly thin and slim and, and, and relatively small for the position. A guy I would usually project as a slot receiver. And I think he has to play in the slot the next level, but apparently the commanders believe they can play him outside and keep Curtis Samuel in the slot. That's my that's what I'm assuming their thought process is with making this pick. That being said, Jahan Dawson was pretty productive this past year with Penn State. Uh, 91 receptions, 1,182 yards, and 12 touchdowns in 12 games. If you watch someone dumb like that, I think you can fall in love with him pretty easily. Even the year before that was solid too. Nine games for 52 receptions, 884 yards, and eight touchdowns in 2020. So back-to-back -back years of really good production from Jahan Dotson. I can understand this pick. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I understand why Washington made this move.